Hey guys, I have a question to ask. Why would you or anyone else want to be able to create a video that's similar to everybody else's? No one ever really wants to do that. So today we're going to be looking at Steve AI and how he can create a perfectly unique video specifically for you. All right guys, so if that sounds interesting, stick around to the end and let's go check it out. Okay, so why do I say that Steve AI is going to be able to give you a unique video specifically for you? The reason why is because you can use what they call text to gen AI videos. So what you need to do is when you're over here, you just click on this. I've used up one and one of 25 videos that I can create per month. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, bring up a prompt. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this prompt straight into here, write about how to edit a PLR ebook using AI tools like ChatGPT Plus to edit and rearrange the content and DALI 2 to create the cover image for the ebook. Now, of course, we're going to be choosing this one here as training and education, and it's going to allow you to be able to create up to 10 scenes. Now, I don't believe it'll let you do more than 10, and I haven't experimented as to whether if I create a scene elsewhere, if I can actually get more of these scenes up. But either way, I'm going to now create it from here using this particular one. And in just a moment, we'll actually see how long it takes to create this content. Oh, there you go. It only took a few seconds and it's got 10 scenes there. Now we do need to put in here education or training. There we go. Training and we can add an AI voice, which I think I will do. And of course, we're going to be going with a male again, like I always do. And instead of Matthew, I'm going to be using Joel. And then let's just hit generate. And then we have to just hit next. And then just in a few minutes, we can also choose now to the style we want. Now we can have it as horizontal. We can have it as square, which would be like Instagram or something. Or you can have your vertical files like a video short. And then you can scroll down and have a look over here and choose the style you want. You might want to go, for example, gaming cartoons or for maybe geometric shapes or portraits or you might want to go the clay model figures or things like that you can, you've got all these different styles you can choose from and i'm thinking i like the super mario one i might choose that one and you got click on that 1990s game model style and we'll have a quick look and see what it comes up with it shouldn't take too long it's only creating 10 scenes so i'll just pause the video till it's finished okay so as you can see this is completely unique to me no one else will have videos anything like this. Now, there's another one, Super Mario, just here, or something similar to Super Mario. Oh, they look a little bit different, so they can get away with it. You got this one here, and these are all completely unique. Now, let's have a quick look. Oh my gosh, you've even got Super Mario throughout the entire thing. And if you wish to, you can have all of that going through. That is kind of cool. And that makes it really unique to you. It doesn't have to be that exact style. And of course, if we were to redo this, it would come up with a very probably a very different look and a very different images as well. So this is what makes it unique. So let's go back over here and let's create a new one. Let's go here. I'm going to be putting in the same prompt and I want to see if it comes up with a different look and different images. Okay. So once again, place that in here and we're going to now train an education and hit generate and we'll pause the video till we come back. Once again, we'll go training. We're going to allow music. We're going to allow voiceover same as last time. This time I'm going to choose Joel again and hit generate. Then we hit next. And then it's going to take us over to the scenes and I'm going to be making sure it's horizontal. Actually, just to see if it is going to create a different one. Let's let's go down here to this one and see whether or not it will create similar but different. Of course, it's supposed to be creating a new video for each time. So it'll create new images for the video. So let's have a quick look at what it creates. Then we can compare them side by side. So we'll go back over to the first scene on this one left hand side over here as you can see the scenes are completely different now we go over here to scene two we go to scene two in this particular one it looks quite different we go here and as you see even the wording is different so i'm just going to go over here and as you go through from scene to scene you'll notice things oh this one's a little bit similar but not the same it looks like the city around the camp around the camp that looks like mid journey yeah <laughs> okay all right, so as you can see, the videos are unique and the images are different from each scene. So scene nine, let's have a look at that one, scene nine, and it does make it absolutely unique for each particular one. So it does, here's proof to show you that they are unique and different each time. So I'm just going to expand that up. So this is literally how you would create a unique video specifically for you. Now let's have a quick look 
and see what this is going to look like from the very beginning. And we'll have a listen to it and see what it's like. Editing a PLR ebook using AI tools like ChatGPT Plus and DALL-E2 for the cover image. Step 1. Familiarize yourself with the PLR ebook's content and structure. Step 2. Use ChatGPT Plus to generate ideas for reorganizing the chapters. Step 3. Utilize ChatGPT Plus to rewrite and improve the text, ensuring clarity and coherence. Step 4. Review the revised content and make necessary adjustments. Step 5. Employ Doll E2 to design an eye-catching and relevant cover image for your ebook. Step 6. Experiment with different image options and select one that best represents your ebook's theme. Okay, you've seen what it's like. So, if you want to make something that's completely unique and different each and every single time, then you might want to have a look at, you might want to go check out Steve AI. I will leave a link for this in the description box down below. Now, if you want to get 20% discount on this, you need to use the promo code PCFORMULA, all in uppercase. And I'll leave that in the description box down below as well. All right, guys, if you're getting some value out of this video, have you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon. So you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, want to consider sharing? And also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these new features in Steve AI. Also, right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.